All right. I'm gonna play some more Animal Crossing. It's hot. Extremely hot. <laughs> so. I'm, I'm indoors. With the air conditioning going. And yeah, just avoiding the heat. So. I figured it was also a good opportunity to test something. So I'm, today I'm testing multi-streaming. Um, it's been on the back of my mind for a while, but just, there's a thing called Restream. I'm sure some of you will be aware of it. It'll let you push your stream to multiple services. And since Twitch allows that now, um, provided, you know, you talk more on Twitch, I decided to give it a go. So I did set up some tests. Um, and the footage looks fine. It's just more how the chat works and all that stuff. Because I, I believe it does add like a little bit of delay. But I guess how bad of a delay? That's the question. So this will be the test bed for that. But otherwise, I'm just going to kick back and work on my island, because it's just hot. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. It doesn't affect the local recording, and I'll still upload to the VODs channel, because that's going to be in 4K. But if this is something that works pretty seamlessly and doesn't really cause problems, then why not? But when I was reading over this stuff, it just, I don't know, it was very vague. Because it, it, I thought it was only going to be 720p, but it doesn't look like it. Like, you can do whatever you want with it. So, I don't know. It does seem to do the good quality 1440, so. As long as that doesn't go to waste, then I'm happy. So we'll see. So I'll start with the daily stuff and then I'll, I'll figure out what to do. It's struggling to load my island sometimes. I can see it. It doesn't like the quantity of stuff I have. Alright, so... Let me, let me do the things first. But a lot has changed. I should probably... I need to get into the habit of doing this. Like, when I open, just get rid of this. stuff that I just decided to get. I think I have a place for all of it. Alright. Okay. 
I may have gotten an extra <laughs> teacher's desk. It's okay. to be annoying, isn't it? <laughs> square one. work. That can be moved by one. And pull this back and do that. And what lies? It should be able to fit. There we go. Wait, did I? Oh, that might have been why it didn't fit. I'm an idiot. Pull it back. Yeah, okay. It was just that. All right. I wish I could put like another building back here, but I can't. Steel trash can. Although, I should probably change the color. Hmm. 
I got another street light. Why did I get another street light? I had a plan for it. I'll think about it. Alright, first do this. Basic teacher's desk. Okay. Damn. What a car. Okay. Placing so awkward. <laughs> I have to battle it just to get in the position I want it to be. But how am I? Ah, oh, it's gonna get. In... <sighs> gotta get in the way. Yeah. Okay, there we go. And then. I suppose I need to place some food here. Hmm. Am I? Oh. Okay. I, th I thought it was like a baby high chair. Never mind. I'm gonna get clothing first. But the general idea is there. As long as it looks different. I probably have these shoes already. I'll just go swap them out. For some reason, it takes a while for it to load from that. Sure. Alright. for a sec because of the flowers. Uh, I guess I'll do the, the round trip. Oh, 
Alright. I'll just get the recipe and check what's in store. What you doing? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I think he's running out of recipes. I'm sure there's still some I haven't gotten, but just now a lot of the time it's duplicates. Is this? I mean, you never know. That, I, I could find some use for it. Nope. Too expensive. So halves next, I gotta customize the trash and do the other stuff. I guess I don't have to buy the artwork today. Because it's Sunday, so it's gonna refresh tomorrow. Unless it's authentic. Okay. Like, I can say the wristwatch. I don't know, I don't have to do this, but if I get the health one, at least I can move things easier. Just one piece of fruit will give me two energy. I mean, that one's not bad either. What's the point of this game? Uh... I mean, it's one of these open-ended games. It does have a point. 
like the low level plot is you get put on an island and you start off in a tent and then you kind of sell stuff acquire things and the point of it is to go from a tent to like a house that's the basic point but what other people do i mean they make it their own game they just will either try and get the animal villages that they want so there's like 400 of them so getting them is like a whole process if you want to get specific ones or if you just want to decorate your town and make it look a certain way there's that as well so it's like a mix of sandbox and then just uh yeah like a very loose point it's not for everyone in the case of me like i'm playing this because people like to see when i design the towns and make it look nice Was I gonna get anything else? Wait, lighted this. Oh, right, that's the thing that I just got from. Should probably put the other stuff away. I don't think I'm gonna use it yet. I can't remember if I have that. See if friends play this game all the time. Don't know if you should get it. If you enjoy, I'm trying to think of other games that are kind of like it. It's it's its own thing, but it does draw inspiration from stuff like Stardew Valley. Not specifically Stardew, but you know those kind of games. Um, but this game exploded in 2020 just because of the pandemic, and people couldn't really go see one another. So people would use Animal Crossing as a way to kind of hang out and just do things. I mean, talk shows, like, kind of got together on Animal Crossing and po podcasts. It's just, yeah, if you enjoy just kicking back and just kind of working away at something, starting off with nothing and then kind of working on it until you get something, then it's a good game, but Granted, it's not for everyone. Um, where was I gonna play? Oh yeah, built crash can. Put it here. Nah, it's the the game is just like a cozy little simulator. come across different animals and you invite them to live in your village and then you know they get a place to live you can decorate the town lay it out like everything you see is just stuff that i've laid out on my own Visiting. Do villagers leave if it's bad? Uh, in extreme scenarios, yes, but you can also... Every now and then one of them will be like, oh, you know, I've been thinking about moving away. And you can choose to either say, oh yeah, you should move away. Go do other things, or you can get them to stay. Grass. Uh, 
This doesn't really do it justice because I'm past, like, the point where I'm trying to make money. Like, when you arrive on the island, there is nothing here. There's no bridges, there's no... There's nothing. Like, you, you just get a tent. <laughs> then that's it. And you kind of have to work your way up. To get... To build a bridge, you have to, like, pay a bunch of money. So you have to grind some money. And I think the other thing that people find jarring is... Things are done in real time, so, like... Right now, it's you know, 2 p.m. here. It's almost 2 p.m. here. It's 2 p.m. in the game. So there are certain um, events, and if you go fishing or catching bugs, then yeah, that's at a specific time of day. Your friend said you have to pay off the the Tom Nook. Yeah, that's that's pretty much the. It's... That's the whole thing. You start off in a tent, you have to pay off your tent, and then he's like, hey, if you want, if you want something bigger, how about I offer you a house? And then you take out a loan for a house, and you pay off the loan for the house, and then he's like, do you want more space? I can offer you a bigger loan, and you just keep paying off your debt. And you have to pay off your tent. Well, you don't get the tent for free. It's like, you can't walk into a camping store and just get, take a tent and be like, Hey, yeah, thanks, I'm taking this. <laughs> like the same in real life. There's a cost. Not a big cost, but a cost. Where's the bottle? There it is. That's all I came here for. Yeah, I mean, the way you work with stuff is early on, you're harvesting fruit, you're selling it. You're cleaning up the weeds and selling the weeds. You might craft some items that the store might pay you more for. Um, you go fishing, you sell your fish. But I'm at the point where I don't have to do that. I've paid off all my debts and I just, I have savings. But this is all about just making the island I have look nice, that's it. Alright. Oh, I should probably get the potatoes, actually. I mean, they're there, why not? Peaches I don't care about. I got plenty. That, there's more there. Okay. 
This dude's songs are weird. <laughs> they can't be AI generated because he's been singing songs in these games since the GameCube. You can't skip this, nah. That's another thing that. Mm. I mean, the whole point of the game is to slow down. Like, not everything happens quickly. The dude that designed this game originally wanted to make a game where, like, you kind of go there and it's just people that are happy to see you and it's kind of cozy. He was saying a game to make you feel less lonely. That was the design that he did originally. So there's a lot of stuff in this game where the villagers will just strike up a conversation, even to buy stuff. So it's just... It takes getting used to. I don't mind it. Like, when that happens, I usually have a drink of water or something. But I don't know. Would, is it better to have the song, or is it better to just have a load screen that goes for ages and does nothing? the song that makes no sense. It's just a dude singing a sea shanty. I mean, I don't know. Does any music make sense? <laughs> it's just... Listen to some of the songs that are out now. It's just about... Just different, just a like beating around the bush way to say, "Hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have sex with someone." It's like ha half of the music involves lyrics that is about sex or partying or something like that. I don't know. From what I've heard, the songs in Japanese make more sense because they're based off actual folklore songs, so it, it seems less weird. There's a few that that makes sense. But then there's others where he talks about, like, his ship being a cucumber, and then he likes eating cucumbers with mayo. And it, it just... <laughs> I don't know. It feels like it's generated by an AI, but it's not. Because this the songs predate AI. Or at least modern AI. Cucumber on mayo doesn't sound right. That's not bad. It depends if you like mayo. If you dip a little bit in mayo, it's it's not bad. But I don't think he was talking about even a little bit. What even was he? Uh, it, he's a kappa, which is like a Japanese creature. It's in Japanese folklore. Kinda looks like a snapping turtle, but there's a little bit of a difference. Money. All right, I got my money, Brock. Okay, I need to find the furniture that's hiding in the trees. Huh? 
Put a car. Oh, that. Bad deal. Oh, there's tires on the beach. Oh, yeah. I purposely put trash. You can fish tires and boots and junk. I put it there because it attracts flies and I want to catch flies. For various reasons. Are there any normal trees here? Ah, here. Nothing here. Big as the island, uh, about that big. Give or take. This is my house, quote. Because, <laughs> uh... You can do whatever you want with it, so I've made mine a venue. So I designed it as a venue, and then I have, like, a little living area at the back indoors. Design the bar. That's the neat thing is you can kind of run with whatever you want. So usually people have themes in mind for their island and they just try to work towards it. Because there are a lot of items in the game, like through crafting and random drops. Just to give an idea. This isn't even everything. That's just like the crafting stuff. And then there's furniture that you just find randomly. Oh. I can't get it now. It's gonna fall somewhere where it's just gonna vanish. Have to wait. Yeah, this is one of my villages. These are the things we have in Melbourne. I mean, the old ones look like this. It's like an old trolley. It's kind of nice. What are you thinking? What? 
I got into a prank call with Audio a while back, and while I'm not sure who won the war, but I'm feeling bad about some of the things I did. I even got her a present, but I'm too shy to deliver it. Alright. Okay, deliver it. Why did it speak three different languages? Uh, all of them speak like... It's a fake language. It's just based off English. I think they just run it through something that gobbles up English speak. There are other games that do this as well, they just... They make noises and then sometimes you might hear a word amongst the noises. find one more piece of furniture and then I'm done with my daily stuff and I can start working on what I was doing before uh oh the game is, is its own thing but like Takes getting used to. What is this? Skull radio? Oh. Table cluster, okay. I think I'm good. What is that? Do all the villages look like? I don't know. I haven't seen all of them. But it's like... I think there's 12 different animals, and amongst 12 different animals is like, just different ones amongst them. There's over 400 villages, so I wouldn't be able to say. I mean, if you're curious, look it up. That's not something I can list. There's over 400 of them. And I haven't seen them all. Uh, do I want any of this? Uh, how much is the hot tub? Eh, uh, I think I have one. I'll check. What is this? Oh, it's a stage. I mean, it might make sense to put the circus stuff. Oh, 
Oh right, this plat this part is closed now. Uh, it's this way now. Yeah, I, I said over 400. That's over 400. I don't remember the exact amount, but I knew it was over 400. Yeah. If I make it look like... Birthdays, yeah. It's uh, like, yeah, they have birthdays, so they invite you to birthday parties and stuff. It's just trying to live like a real life. I mean, my, mine's on the 27th of January, which was just past, so I'm not sure which villager. I guess I would have a villager for every day of the year if there's over 400. Yeah, it doesn't look bad. I mean, the generator, it's like, it's, it's practical. It makes sense that he would need a generator for all this stuff, but I don't know. I think that's probably better. Alright. Happy late birthday, thanks. Um, give me like 10 seconds. I'm gonna go turn up the air conditioning. It is hot here today, so. Um, I just wanna turn it up a little bit. <laughs> it's the first hot day we've had this whole summer, so. my foot outside and it oh it did not take long for it to uh feel like it was burning the admiral i don't know who the admiral is aurora i'm not sure who aurora is i think i've seen aurora before one's a penguin and the other one's a bird okay i think that might be the one i know what's up scoot Oh cool, treasure hunt. Yeah, I'm up for that. Alright. Sure, what are the rules, Scoot? Alright. Gotta find his buried treasure. I mean, mo more likely going to be on the west side of the island because all of this is all built up. I doubt he could bury anything here. Struggles when there's a lot of flowers on screen. I don't know, man. Like, Nintendo needs to hurry up with their new console. The Switch is feeling its age. Is this it? 
No, that's a gyro. Oh, come on, really? It's okay, I have a backup. See what we got. Is it hard to make tools? Nah, um, they have simple ones and then they have ones that last a bit longer. The simple ones are usually just made out of branches that you just shake from trees. That's why you see me picking up branches a lot, it's just to make tools. So wait, you gave me what? Tortoise specs? Oh. That's what those are. I'll go back to my paint ball mask. You can also buy tools if you can't be bothered. So. Let me put this back. I forgot what I was going to do with this round street light. Was I going to put it here? I don't remember. Maybe I can just put it here for now. Alright. Now I'm going to work on something. Oh, you got fleas. Hold on. <laughs> Don't move. I need to find who's crafting. Someone's making something. I don't think she was crafting, I can't remember. We'll have a look. If I knew it was gonna be this hot, I would've gotten some ice cream or something. Oh, she's just working out. I'm skipping a lot of the dialogue because I've heard a lot of it, so... Oh, I already got that. 
Ah, I do. I'm trying to find a recipe to make a golden piece of armor, so then I can make my giant robot. But it's just, yeah, random is random. Alright. I'm gonna redecorate Pietro's house, because now... I need to make it fit the rest of this amusement park sort of situation. I'm gonna make the roof the same as this one. What is it? It's like pink door and... Okay. Because these are going to match. They're like part of the same amusement park. Sorry. <laughs> I should probably talk to this thing. Get my bonus points. Uh, do you have rusted parts? No. Okay. Let's talk about homes. Residence home. Uh, where is Pietro? There you are. Alright. So I'm gonna make it look more amusement park looking. Exterior first. So what, it was this one... No, it was one of these ones. Was it that? I think it was that one. No, wait, it wasn't pink. It was like that. It was that one. Because that's too grey. They look pretty similar. Um, and then the door. Okay. I don't think I'll put a thing on it. Yeah, okay. That'll do. Oh, you can see how it looks like with curtains closed and open. And then day and night. Okay. So, I'm going to start with the flooring. So, I'm just going to design this around just, yeah, theme park stuff. Maybe some indoor things. I don't know, it's weird his ones is like just avoid. What does he want me to do? Doesn't want me to do anything. Like, I 
am choosing to redecorate this house. Because you can do that. So I want it to better suit the theme that I have going where he's running a theme park. Might do that. Let's just... Alright, what looks like a wall that would be... could do that, so then you can get snacks or something. Maybe. What else has he got? I don't know if there's anything that's kinda... That would suit. to be something bright. Oh. I could do something like give him a stage. There's two ways I could play this. I could play this so like you come here to see him perform. Or... This is more stuff. I might make a performance thing. Let's do a performance thing instead. I'm gonna make it a performance stage, so... I think it makes sense. You come see a show. Okay, so we're going to get rid of a lot of this. I'll keep this. Okay, so let's make a makeshift stage. The other thing I need to do, hold on. Yeah. Pick something that looks like it's a venue. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of... Ball, it's just the problem is it repeats on itself. It looks a bit much. That's a museum wall. Yeah. Yeah, maybe this is this is fine. It's like just a theater looking thing. That kinda works. If I turn down the lights I think it'll look good. What about this? I mean, I wanted something to kind of suit outside. I think I'll just stick with this for now. Okay, uh, let's get some things out. Where's the microphone? 
that's the desktop mic, where's the, the standing one? I wish this had search. Hey, Star, how's it going? How's uh, your weekend? I think I just have to go under all. Ugh. Oh, here we go. Okay, so this is all... There's the microphone, okay. Okay, okay, how am I? Uh, oh yeah, hang in there. It's really hot today, and just been cleaning over the weekend. A lot. I'm messing around with, um... Like that restream thing to try and stream to both Twitch and YouTube at the same time. Hopefully there's not too much of a delay on chat, I don't know. It looks surprisingly well. I was kind of worried about it because the quality it said it was saying was, it was going to be 720p, but it does 1440, so I don't know. As long as there's no delay, then cool. Okay, what else can we add? This is a stage. I guess floor monitors, that makes sense. for now. As nice as these chairs are, they're kind of in the way. I'll do different seating. I'm just thinking comedy props sort of thing. Um, I need a curtain. That's all we want. Whoop. Crap. Maybe the floor monitors are a bit much. Stop it. <laughs> I want to move this. There we go. I want to make it like there's, there's a place where he kind of gets dressed behind. Let's just do this the one by ones. Oh no! <laughs> not what I want to do. Oops. Why, why do you do this game? I'm clearly duplicating the floor. And then it just swaps the duplication target. next to it. Okay, I need chairs now. Thank you. 
Ow. <laughs> Sloppy sofa. That's quite the adjective. I mean, maybe these. These will be fine. I need to come up with, like, a... a chair layout. So there's two options. I can do this, where it's, like, pretty intimate and small. It's probably the right call. It doesn't have to be over the top. Okay, it does work. Just sticking with the color palette. Fans. Yeah, that kind of looks like it. I need to look, make it look like there's an audience reaction. <laughs> okay, and I guess there. make sure the different colors. Alright, I'll leave that seat open. Uh, I mean, I guess here it should just be drinks. Oh, no, wait. Yeah. There we go. That works. Oh, you can change... Yo, you can change it. It's like... Salted and cola, salted iced coffee, salted orange juice, caramel and iced tea, caramel and melon soda, curry flavored, wait, oh, the popcorn, berry soda, and you can change it. I mean, that's pretty neat. Um, I do have this as well. Uh, there's like a bag of potato chips as well, somewhere. Oh. Yeah, we can all that. I swear- oh, there it is. Cookies. Wait, do cookies come in a bag? I've never seen cookies come in a bag like this. Yo, yep, that. Whatever that is, I want that. Hell yeah. <laughs> Sometimes, really? I've only seen them in... It's like a tube. A plastic shell that is underneath and the cookies are all in it. Oh, not, it's not even a tube, it's just, it's wrapped in plastic and then there's a plastic tray. Okay. It's a new one for me. I like Oreos and stuff. Yeah, Oreos are loose though. The, the ones I think of as the Tim Tam ones, because it's just like this plastic shell. I don't know. 
All right, uh, dressing room. Those costumes like this. I mean, they're not so much costumes, but whatever. Um, I have to make it real. Let's do that. Then it's like this. Alright, small detail. background like that. Oh, here we go. That kind of puts a damper in my plan a little. Actually, not really. Let's like just do that. There we go. That works. Wait, you can change the color? Alright. I don't think there's gonna be a lot to this one. Okay, so on the walls... I think this one I'm just, again, gonna just, ah, oh, stupid game. I'm just gonna line it up with photos, I guess people that have been here. <laughs> I'll figure it out. Um... current villager. Okay, and then over here we'll do something different. Identical. Oh no, yeah, you could, you could do this. Hang on, just for make it look different. Pick someone at the bottom. Oh, you can put like a big poster. <laughs> Throwing the otter. Yeah, okay. Grass looks like a bit of a performer. You look like a bit of a performer. Okay, next is lights. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm gonna mess with the lighting now. So, do chatter. I mean, as long as you can still walk up to it. Tomnock is kind of in the way. Hang on. You can go. You can go backstage. Oh, you know what? I can do this. There you go. Just making a thumbnail now. This looks good. It doesn't have to be anything complicated. Oh, yeah. All oh, right. <laughs> there you go. Hold on. Yeah, that's another one done. So uh, that changes things a little. Now I don't need this out here anymore. I'm gonna alter this a little. This is what I've been working on. I decided to move the diner down here and make it part of the theme park. So now the theme park is like one massive thing. And I've set up stalls. got rid of a lot of the fencing and just made the fencing become actual stands. I'm pretty happy with it. Oh yeah, I forgot to get food out. I need to finish that. What have I got? I mean, that can work. It's just stuff that you'd probably get at the diner. Um. remember if I've used that. Hang on. I 
I have. I'm gonna get the other one. It is... where is it? This one. Oh, I should have got on the stool. There it is. matters. Hang on. Which way I place it? Otherwise it puts it sideways. There we go. up now. I even got the wrong one on the top anyway. Sure, <laughs> this is about, but whatever. It's in front of a giant elephant and it has lights, it'll look good at night. So, I have a little more room. Let's see what else I have in storage. Sure. This is only because I decorated her house yesterday. So now she's running a diner. It actually fits with what's going on outside. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm happy with this. <laughs> okay, that one actually looks like it's chewing. The one on the one next to me.
Let's do, do the game thing. I'm gonna be upset if I get this wrong. <laughs> It has to be Lola, come on. Okay, good. Good, good. Alright, I'm gonna go now. Hey, what? HMD? HMD. What's an HMD? Oh, this thing. Head mounted display. It's kind of appropriate. Yesterday I just saw so many videos of people wearing the new Apple Vision Pro thing. And it's already been a little bit dystopian, people trying to drive with it on and walking everywhere with it. Like, we're slowly turning into what Wally, that movie, <laughs> showed what humanity would become. We just need the chairs now. I mean, it looks cool, but it's just, is it $3,000 cool? I don't know. Or however it's worth. Just wouldn't be able to think of a practical reason to get it, other than like, if you don't want a TV and want to save space, it's a pretty good idea. Because it can act like a TV. I don't know if I have a whole lot I can do now. In that spot. Oh. Huh, maybe. I mean, I guess a theme park does need that. Maybe I should go with something practical. Yeah, that makes sense, actually. Uh, I'll see what colors it comes in. The only thing I'm not sold on is just this here. I almost feel like I should straighten this path out. Oh, 
Acá. There we go. I mean, none of these colors kind of go with what the theme park is, so I might just go for that as a neutral one. As boring as it is. I wonder if the lever gets to the point where you can straight up just pick the color you want to whatever degree. That'd be pretty cool if you could do that. I guess it would make it not look as good. I don't know. Like, maybe they pick these colors specifically for a reason. kind of works. It goes with the bins. Okay, no, I'm more sold on it now. Now that I see this. Alright, cool. Now, the only thing is... Ugh, I mean, I haven't thought too much on it, but... what to do here. There's a couple of ideas I have. Um, I'm just not sure which one I'm gonna execute. I think for starters, I don't think it's gonna be one of these. There's two things I'm thinking. Because I did want to try and do like a theater type setup. Like there's a projector item that is, well it's not massive, it's enough to get the point across. Or, and I'm leaning more towards this one. Like, taking one of the food trucks over and doing, like, a food truck setup. But... Hmm. Let me see how the theatre would look. I'd need to get a bunch of simple panels. So it would be this, and then a bunch of these. I don't know, maybe that. I don't think there's anything that's... soft seating. There's this. Like, I could try it with this and just see. 
Maybe I'll just get a bunch of these and just see how it looks. So I'd have to customize the panel. But this is just to see how it looks like first. It's not bad. Then if I got two big speakers, it, it'll look good. And just... How would the seating work? I guess it would have to be... have to be a, a massive thing, it can be small. have to swap out the flooring. seating to use here. Hang on. Let's have a look at what's craftable. I don't think there's anything that's craftable that I'd want to use. Yeah, not really. I'll go to Happy Home and see what can be orderable. Do they have recliners in this? Let's see if they have recliners, because that would probably look good. Sorry.
Das sogar hier noch passt. I won't be able to finish it tomorrow, but if I can figure out the seating. Oh wait, I went into school. I mean, give me a free plant while I'm here. This might take a minute. Oh, wait, but it was 333. Three, three. Never mind. I was gonna transfer, but then I remembered it's expensive today. Uh, alright. So, I guess let's see what I can use as seating for a theater. I guess if I just stack recliners, that'd be good. Oh. That might be interesting. I guess it depends how big it is. could order one through here and then see how it looks. That could be interesting. I'll order one. See what else we got. It has to either be two next to each other or like a single one that I could see multiple of. <laughs> That'd be just chaotic. I think so far that chair is like the front runner. I mean, that would be uncomfortable, but it's an option. I don't think I'm going to have much luck. I think that's probably the best I can do. See, these are the ones that I already have one of. So I could buy another three and it's like, yeah, but it's a theater, it's not a school. 
even when I went to university, like, the chairs were pretty comfortable. They weren't like this. They had padding on them. It wasn't just... I don't think I've ever sat down in a chair like this. Like, I don't know. Some lectures were at least an hour long. There was one, there was one lecture I had who tried to do three hour lectures and just would allocate the time slot, but then never spend the three hours and he was so annoying. Because he wanted his lectures to be first thing in the morning. So for me, it wasn't a problem because I, I lived pretty close by, but there were people that used to travel an hour, over an hour to get to his lectures. So they'd have to get up early. And then the dude sometimes would talk for 40 minutes instead of the allotted three hours. It was just irritating. I think people ended up complaining against, against him and he had to shift it like a little bit later. Which, fair enough, like, if that's all you gotta do that day, and the person asks for three hours of your time and then only goes for 40 minutes, I'd be- I'd be annoyed. I don't know if I have multiple of these. But I can order that through normal, so... Oh, but that's a massage. You know, but, ooh. Yeah, I'd, I'd totally go to a theater that has these kind of chairs. So it's between this chair and the other one. One's more fancy. This one, I feel like, man, that's such a luxury thing. I think I'm gonna- I'm gonna lean towards this one. Alright, we're going with this one, so I'll order four of them. So f Premium? Yeah, that's like- we call it gold class here. I don't think- I've never been to a theatre screening like that. Because here yeah, they, they do bottle service and food service for that experience, but I think it's like a hundred bucks a ticket. But it covers a meal, so it's... It's fine. I just... I can't think of a movie that I would want to watch that would justify that. I don't know. Unless they were rescreening some classic or something. I'm gonna go a hundred dollars a ticket to go see, like, Sonic the Hedgehog. Not that Sonic is a bad movie. It's just, is it a movie that I would go get bottle service over? Probably not. The ones you've been to deliver food and alcohol and have heated reclining chairs with blankets, but it wasn't that expensive, like $20. Oh. Yo, I'd totally do that. Here it's not the same. I mean, just a ticket to a normal standard screening minimum of 20 bucks and then if you want to get like popcorn I mean you're looking at a, probably another 20 bucks per person just just you could easily spend 80 to 100 dollars for two people to go see a, just a, a movie in a normal s cinema screen and it's just you know you could go to a nice restaurant, get a nice meal, and then just go watch a movie at home on Netflix or something. It's just... This is why I don't go that often anymore. The fact that you can go to a nice restaurant, each get a really nice meal, and still have enough money left over for, like, ordering something through Uber later, it's just... I don't know, man. I've- I've only gone to the theatre just as a social thing, not because I want to actually go there. The last one I wanted to see was, um... The Boy and the Heron. And I saw that at IMAX, and that was- that was fun. 
but I could have easily seen that at home. The worst part about it is, you, you go, you pay your money, and they still have the audacity to, like, spend the first half hour of your screening showing you ads. Like, just... I don't know. <laughs> It's, it's easily the first half hour. It's, they'll say the session starts at 1 and then they're not showing the movie until like 1.30. I'll see if I have one of those recliner chairs already. Because if I do, then I can order it. Otherwise, I'm going to have to wait. Mm, doesn't look like it. Not to sound too much like an old man, but when I was in university on Tuesdays, it was, it was like based, we called it Tired Ass Tuesday. Because it was just um, a day you could go see a movie for $8. It was just super cheap. It was student pricing. Like, we'd go to McDonald's, get something, and then go watch a movie for eight bucks. It's usually just like a pack of chicken nuggets or something, and then, yeah. It's great. But then they stopped doing that, and it just... I think between all of us, it was like... We'd buy a massive pack of chicken nuggets, and then... Share them. So, you know, each person didn't spend more than ten bucks. Maybe 15 if you count a drink, but that was worth it. Alright, I'm getting rid of this flooring. Yeah, I kind of want some nuggets now. <laughs> it is hot. It is hot outside, so I probably don't want to cook something to warm up the apartment. So I might order something. It depends if it cools down or not in the next hour or so. I don't think it will. Um. Yeah, it's not going to cool down anytime soon. <laughs> I might be having a late night though, alright. I'm too lazy to convert it, but it's like 38 Celsius outside. Which, it's, it's not the hottest it gets, but it's, it's pretty hot. I think most Europeans would melt. It's hard enough that if I stand outside barefoot, I, I feel like my foot is cooking. What temperature did I say? 38 Celsius, which if I take a guess, like 100 Fahrenheit-ish. Sure if that's correct, <laughs> but it is. It is hot. And it's gonna be like that. It looks like it's not gonna start cooling down until about 9 p.m. And even then, it's not gonna cool down that much.
When it's days like that, I, I don't like to cook just because it heats up the house. I didn't plan ahead. I didn't realize it was going to be that hot today. Otherwise, I would have ensured I had leftovers to just heat up in the microwave. In the summer, it gets to around 115, which is 46. You live in the valley, so all that heat just gets trapped. Oh, man. It's pretty similar to here. That's, that's the hottest it gets here. But this summer has been pretty mild. This is probably the hottest day we've had so far. But here, the air conditioning is basically like a universal thing. And houses that have better insulation now, it's just... Otherwise you suffer. The apartment I was in previous to this one, it stayed really cool, but the downside was there's, there's basically no natural light in it. So it did feel a bit gloomy. This one, there's a lot of natural light, but admittedly it doesn't stay as cool. So, it's not bad, it's manageable and comfortable and shorts and a t-shirt, but I think if it was 115 slash 46, I think I probably wouldn't have the computer on. <laughs> I'd be just watching stuff on TV or something. We need a bunch of customization kits. I mean, I'm okay. It's, as far as places in Australia goes, it's like, it's comfortable here. There are other places that get way hotter on average. If I lived on the west coast, it would it would probably be unbearable today. Alright, that'll do. I'm gonna customize a bunch of panels. I think I can... Unless I need to change the color of the frame, I think I can just do it myself. Customize. Trying to think like what what do I want as a backing to this? Probably just wood. I guess if I do need wood, uh, I'm gonna have to go to halves. I didn't want to, but the black frame means it's just not gonna look like it's seamless. Yeah, 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 close it. <laughs> there we go. This might take a minute. Oh, yeah, those are the choices. Just saying. Uh, all right. Brown and that. There we go. Mm -hmm. 
So this like this thing that I'm using to multi-broadcast. I guess I'll see what's the difference between the free version and the paid version, because this this seems to be working fine. I think the difference is like on YouTube it puts this dummy description on that says it's powered by their service, which, eh, like, I could live with that, but it's probably not great for discoverability. On Twitch, it really doesn't matter. But, I mean, if the video quality is, is basically identical and there's no delay, then there's no reason for me not to do this. I like that it merges the chats as well. And it just means that if I ever do get to the point where, like, TikTok gets enough followers and I could do it there as well, I think I'm almost at the point where they can give me a stream key. The only thing missing is just for Twitch to hurry up with that 4K implementation. And then I could do this in 4K. Tomorrow I'll have half the chairs and then I'll buy them with normal money, the rest of them. So, how many houses do I have left to do? I think I just have two villager houses left to do, if I'm not wrong. Which means I should probably get around to <laughs> cleaning up the flowers I've been putting up with it for now, just to have options, but I think the time has come that I need to actually clean all this shit up. This one, outdoors, is just, you know, whatever. They're, they, they run place of business where you can come and buy flowers. I might adjust this even a little bit, I don't know. So, it's the interior of this, and then this side, I haven't worked out what I'm gonna do. Still thinking about it. I wanted to have someone that sells just crafts and stuff, but I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to do it. I can just... Alright, anyway. Let me go back to what I was doing.
No. Why game? Why? That's not not where I was standing. What? Did I do this wrong? I must have done this wrong. What's wrong? Oh, okay. Sure, what I did, but sure. There we go. Oh, yeah, look, it does work. Okay, uh. Alright, I know how I'm gonna do this. I think I have an old projector camera somewhere. Or at least I hope I do, otherwise I'll order it. Enough. There it is. That's what we want. And I got one of those. Hang on, where is it? The well, it's lighted. Maybe not. I need something to place this on. Not sure I have anything. This might work. I'll have a look. make this the fencing again, but do it in these colors. Yeah. <laughs> 
And one more. I think this looks fine. It looks like something, yeah. Don't tell me I can't put it on top of the effects rack, really. Okay, good. <laughs> ah, but, oh, it's doing this thing. Hang on. <laughs> Facing the wrong way still. <laughs> How do I make it face forward? That's facing forward, okay. There we go. It's set up. Oh, accidentally did an extra orange. There we go. Uh, at night, this should look good. Just once I get all the seating in, it'll, it'll be good. I now need the speakers, assuming I have any. I might do the bamboo speakers, because they would look nice. I just have to craft them. Uh... So what is it? It's like, if I'm not wrong, it's bamboo. I'm not sure if it uses spring bamboo. Iron and clay. I thought I didn't have them. Oh, it's even simpler. Yeah. Alright, cool. I don't know if I, I should set up like a ticket booth or something. I feel like that'd be too difficult <laughs> to try and squeeze in here. I mean, it's fine. Oh, hold on. There we go. And maybe for good measure. Well, that worked out nicely. Alright. And then it's just the chairs that are missing. 
I guess you could use these as chairs. Alright. Just the comfy chairs left. I want to make sure the lights are, like, pretty aligned together. That looks right. I think this is a good replacement for us here. <laughs> yeah, you go. It makes me question this. It's like, oh, there's like a ramen place, and then you can just get some ramen and go watch a movie. It makes me think that if I should convert this to like a ticket place and a concession stand and then make this like one logical thing and then move the like the more I say it the more I'm convinced I should probably do that and just make this like a food truck thing because I do need an idea for a food truck and then I could do something less complicated because I could argue the kitchen's in the truck. I'm gonna I'm gonna sit on this idea a bit more. But I'm leaning towards changing this to be just a ticket place and a concession stand where you just buy drinks and there's the popcorn machine and all that stuff. I've already moved the diner, and I like what I did with it, because it makes sense. Oh. A blind trade for my lecture bench. I mean, I don't think I want the lecture bench, so sure. But watch it be a ripoff. Yeah, give me this piece of furniture that costs hundreds of dollars and I'll give you ants. Dude, every every time, every time one of them runs up to you and wants one of your things, they scam you. I asked Pashmina the other day about a good way to save money. But the advice was not to spend money on things I don't need. And that's totes the complete opposite of what I like doing. Don't worry about it. And that's the problem. I never worry about it. And that's not cool. If I just spend money on everything, my whole eventual pop star fortune will be gone in no time. I have to start saving bells. I want to open a combo fashion design studio slash bug sanctuary someday. What? Is this ant farm even... Yeah, this is what I tr this is what I traded my bench for. The lesson here is just never carry anything on you. Just place it down right away, otherwise the villagers will try and scam you. My favorite one is when I bought a sword. It was worth almost a hundred thousand bells and one of them comes up to me and is like hey i've been looking for a sword can i buy it for nine thousand bells i'm sure it improves your friendship with them but I just, I just feel like they guilt tripped me. Hey, 
Okay, um, one sec. These two can go away. The only other thing I think I'm going to do now... I think I'm just going to adjust the road here. Just, this part has bothered me. I don't think it makes sense anymore. I just need to straighten it out. Just swap over to the sanded tile here, and that's it. Or even that, I'm kind of debating, thinking to do that. Eh, it doesn't look good. Eh, okay, I got the right idea. That looks fine now. I still have a, a tree on me that I don't know what to do. Hang on. Yeah, I mean... Change this. Yeah, that works. Two more trees to place. somewhere where it's just going to vanish. Dreamy pants? Oh. <laughs> okay. Guess that's what that is. about something. I'm not sure I can place it, but let's let's see. Yeah, it doesn't work. It's too close to the house.
Yeah, okay. Can't do it. I have to fix this now. Just checking. Fill here. What have I got? Even just a plant will do. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to fill that with. I feel like the panel might be. Ah, uh, hold on. Maybe not. There might be a way to do it. Am I almost out of panels again? I would assume these ones are like set in the correct color. Alright, so for this to work I have to put it back here. See, I kind of got the same thing going on here now. Special orders. I got that already. Hang on. There's some limited edition stuff here. I think I didn't get that. Oh, the groundhog's gone. <laughs> but I've bought it, so that's fine. Okay, uh, simple panel, where are you? There you are. 
can't go wrong with these. Okay, that's done. I forgot to do this yesterday. Where's the baby bear? Curious how big this actually is. Would it be too gigantic to place here? Kidding, it is pretty gigantic. Oh, that's the thing, like why would I what would I even do with this? As advertised, it is gigantic. Seti is running this the stand. Never selling anyone anything. They're all a bunch of scam artists. I'm putting it all away. I got I got nothing on me. And tomorrow this once both houses are there. It'll look good. It'll be all completed. And then I can finish off well. I'm gonna think more on this. I, the more I think about it, the more I should probably do it. <laughs> Alright. That'll do it for now. So it's fun. Okay. I'm getting a bit hungry, so I'm gonna like go figure out dinner.
before I do stuff later on in the evening. Um, but yeah, I guess this this went well. It this seems to be stable, so I'll probably do this again for the evening stream where it just goes out to YouTube at the same time. Um, shit, I usually say if you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking the video and all that, but now it, it just adds a layer of complexity. So I will say if you are watching this later in whatever form, <laughs> just thanks for sticking around to the end as well. Um, but if you do want to support any of the channels over on YouTube, uh, subscribe, the like, all, all those things that the YouTubers typically tell you to say, to say and do. I don't know. I need to come up with something new to say now. But thank you for watching. <laughs>